Here are three examples of the use of conservation of momentum in collisions. Conservation of momentum is used when all outside forces to the system are negligible for the duration of the interaction. To skip to the relevant example, please refer to the description for the times on this video. Here is an example for head-on elastic collisions. Remember, head-on means all of the vectors are along the same coordinate and hence it's a one-dimensional problem. Elastic means that aside from momentum, the total kinetic energy of the system is also conserved. When reading momentum problems, you need to look for clues on mass and velocity. As always, take note of what the question is asking for. As a vector problem, you need to draw the right picture with a coordinate system. In momentum problems, you should draw two pictures, one before the interaction and one after. You can attempt to draw in the anticipated magnitude and direction of the unknowns but when in doubt just draw them in generically and rely on the math at the end to give you the sign declare the conservation of momentum in equation form. Because we have two unknowns, we need a second equation. For head-on elastic collisions only, there is a shortcut equation. You may check back at the video where this is derived for you. It says that the magnitude of the relative velocity between the two objects will be preserved from before to after the collision. The direction will change signs. We use this to get an expression of one unknown in terms of the other.
we substitute this back in our conservation of momentum equation and then use algebra to solve for the unknown. We plug in with units and we are going to be very careful with the negative signs here. Remember, the second mass had an initial velocity that was negative. We get a solution. We can use this to plug back into the second equation to solve for the other unknown. We reread the problem and check our answer against the picture. Note that the final velocity of the first mass turned out to be negative. This means that instead of it going to the right after the collision, it actually was going to the left. For head-on elastic collisions, also check that the magnitude of the relative velocities was preserved. In this example, we will examine the treatment of a perfectly inelastic collision. In reading this problem of a speeding bullet hitting a small mass initially at rest and becoming embedded, we take note of the masses and the velocities. The question asks what was the initial velocity of the bullet? Draw the picture both before and after the interaction. Notice that the final velocity of the two masses is the same because this is a perfectly inelastic collision. We declare the conservation of momentum in equation form. We can simplify this equation before solving for the unknown. We plug in with units and then check our answer against the variables given and the picture drawn.
Glancing collisions are two-dimensional problems. Hence, you need to pay attention to more variables. Note that when the type of collision is not given, you still can assume conservation of momentum. Read the problem and take note of what is being asked for. Especially in two-dimensional problems, remember that the velocity must have both a magnitude and a direction. When drawing the picture, make sure to set up a coordinate system that is sensibly two-dimensional and sometimes you can simplify your calculations by setting one of your coordinates along a known velocity. Because of the two dimensions, you need to calculate or derive expressions for components. You will need to declare conservation of momentum in each coordinate separately. Simplify each of them based on known variables before solving for their respective unknowns. Plug in with units and again be very careful with negative signs both in the algebra and when plugging in for velocity components. Remember to convert back to polar coordinates and when calculating the angle, make sure to check the quadrant. Always finish by rereading the problem and checking your answer against the picture.